Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. There you go. There you go, baby. That's what happens when you don't give up, man. That's one thing you learn. KP, what you learn? Mmm. There's always strength in numbers. Cash, what you learn? I know you learned something. That you can, that you can make a difference. Like you making a difference on me, they can impact another. Yeah, yes sir. Trey, what you learn? I got four words. Four words. Help is the key. Help is the key. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you learn? Yeah, switch lines up a little bit now, you know. I learned that communication is key. Cause like you got something on your mind, you just better to talk to somebody about it than trying to settle with yourself. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. up? What you learn, Jaheen? That you need to relax. You need to relax. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Please, what you say there? You need to relax your body. You need to relax your body, okay. Just what you learn? Uh, I learned that um the more that we stay focused on our vision, the more people we're going to impact. I learned you guys speak to people, talk to people that if you're going through stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Justin, what you learned? The real Justin. Uh, <laughs> I learned that, uh, I learned two things. You mm -hmm. can, I learned you can use money to make money. Mm -hmm. And you can, uh, the people that, there are people that uh, have it worse than you, and they went through it, so if they can do it, you can do it. Uh, what you uh, One thing I learned is to work together as a team. Yes, sir. KG, what you uh, I learned that as long as you give someone the space to, to be vulnerable and communicate the things that they're going through, um, people are much more willing to come forward to what they're talking about and their problems and won't be scared to get judged. When I learned that we don't need a big group of people to be impactful. Um, and y'all are just as impactful on us as we may have been on y'all. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Stephanie, what you learn? That persistence makes a big difference. I learned that uh, we don't need a big group of kids to be impactful because y'all can be this size impactful on us as we plan to be on y'all. Teaching is hard, y'all know that? Y'all know that? Why y'all think it's hard? Y'all deal with the kids. You already know the deal, right? No, man, I think that class is different, not just to be biased, but everything else you can kind of guess, finesse, write something down, fill up the page, and kind of finesse your way through it. The math, you either right or you wrong, right? And a lot of kids don't know how to be wrong, so I had a lot of uh, issues, and I found myself teaching about life more and more and more, and I could never really make it to math. And my kids, and whatever the school, especially when I was at Cardozo, now you need to stop teaching, be a social worker and motivational speaker. Stop teaching, be a social worker and motivational speaker. I always keep on my desk, I got like a big folder thing, I like all letters from my students. It's like starting a job, leaving. Starting a job, leaving. So the amount of teachers that leave is, is one of the highest in the country. I take my time to teach kids about life, um, and that's something I actually put my heart into. All right, so you'll learn more throughout the day, but I'm Justin. What's up, fellas? My name is Kendall. I'm Malcolm, and this is Game Set. That's actually Cash. He's one of our first mentees. Uh, he was sitting where y'all were sitting when we did an event at HB. Um, and he was one of, in my opinion, the student that took it the most. And he immediately jumped on. Got himself a camera, uh, hit KP, hit Josh. So I'm trying to do some picture stuff. I'm, I'm trying to just start photography. Him and KP built a relationship. Now you're here today and you're getting a check too. 
Right? I couldn't care less if you get it wrong. All I care about is if you give it a shot. Alright? I don't know much about money, but in order to make at least, at least some type of education. My goal today when speaking to you guys is gonna be like changing your perspective of the devil. Right? Because while money does give you power, my biggest thing that I push is is that number one, you don't just have money, just not something to spend. It's an opportunity for you to get freedom, right? And for you to be able to move through life how you want because it's literally just a tool like a hammer, right? I try to work out, work out a lot, eat good food, leave stress free, and care about family. Care free? Stress free. Stress free? I practice with a 14 football team mm -hmm. uh, at a rec. Mm -hmm. And I just try to take it slow. So I work out almost every day. Mm -hmm. I just play like basketball and football and stuff. Mm -hmm. Go, you can keep good, good and like changes based on what you experience. Yes, yes sir. Good job. So mental health is having understanding of your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, Right? So everyone in here is thinking something right now. Everyone is. When you see people who aren't mentally healthy, that's what it ends up to be in what? Crazy or mentally unstable. It's our responsibility, not anyone else's, to control our emotions. The emotional refractory period. That's when people become angry. That's when people become bitter. That's when people become sad. That's when people become ruthless because they don't understand, they don't understand why they're feeling that way. I also should tell you, not, don't just stay strong for your grandmother. Who else are you staying strong for? Who? Who? I said, good. You say you try not to think about it. Um, I want to challenge you to try to think about it. Like, it's okay to think about something that hurts you. Right? Because if you try not to think about it, what are you just doing? You're burying in that deeper and deeper. So eventually, like I was trying to bury the same thing what I did about my father. And it wasn't until what, 27 years later? I started talking about it? Okay. What made you decide to start coming to school after you lost your father and your I guess it just made, I just wanted to continue playing football. Mm -hmm. And I know, like, you can't play football on education. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's some real heavy stuff. Um, but strong people live through that heavy stuff. Sometimes the best thing for you, bro, is pain. Uh, like, we've all been through things, and we've all had the opportunity to stay with our story and dwell on it, right? But if you also, if you look at like very successful people, they've been through crazy stuff. Bear with me, I'm messing with you. 20%, right? Y'all, raise your hand if you don't feel the child to. Don't let all of the things you've been through, don't let it be like a, a sob story. Not saying you're sobbing, but I just know how you look at it. That ain't nothing. What you're facing, that ain't nothing. My family, two hours away. Every Monday. I had to change his name in time to make all this good time because another man, I got a girlfriend. I, I love him. You don't love him because you wouldn't do the things that, just, in my opinion, minimally used word in the world. But it's supposed to be like, y'all know that? Like more marriages don't work than do. And that's supposed to be like the ultimate love. You ready? I'm <laughs> he, He's about to get married. Alright, but, alright, so, I've been going on all, all day, but, <laughs> so, so for many of us, when we try to break the cycle, we go on the rampage, like, I don't know what I'm doing, I got this stuff going on, so I'm going to bring my pain into other people, I ain't trying to carry you, but, that's the kind of message I give you, right, you try to get your bread up with the situation you got, right, or with the people, you know, you're trying to get one, you're trying to do something with it, right, Boom, they got you though. They trying to get you. Right? Because you're rampaging. As opposed to educating yourself so you can break that cycle and start to explore and people can start to go, oh, you, you, you're not hurting nobody? No, yo, let, me, let me put you in the zoo. Let me get you in college. 
Let, let, let me get you in the trade school, right? Or let me try to get you in the AAU team. Or let me get you with a coach that don't care about the sport, that care about you. Even though it's not your fault that your parents passed away, or your parents was weak, or your parents made bad decisions. You can't control that. But it's your responsibility to overcome that and break the cycle in the appropriate way. Feel me? All right. Feeling brain all the way up, thinking brain not all the way up. And it continues to grow at a proportional rate. All right? But there's always a deficit until you address. My students need to be motivated every day. But motivation comes and goes. It comes and goes, right? And you got like the obsessed people like the Jordan, the Kobe, the LeBron. As soon as they done, they right back to it because they're driven. Right now it's the off season, right? They treat the off season just like the season. They're just playing a different kind of game. All right? So your goal should not be the motivated. You want to drive through life. All right? Society attacks this person, though. Right? Society, police, our community, they attack these people. And a part of it is just because they're so loud with it. Our exposure helped us to see it real different. When we got money, we put red bottoms on, we show our money. And in comparison to people who really got the bread, that's just a small amount. One of the dudes that lived in my dorm on my floor, literally you go in his room, three pair, three, uh, three outfits. But you know what? Whenever we had like a long weekend like we did last week when y'all had off Monday, Tuesday, he went to Jamaica for the weekend, flying private. He went to Turks and Caicos, like another island in the in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean. Well, go to the yeah, Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, went to Paris, all this wild stuff. Be on TV. One of my big things is always the use of credit, right? But in our community, most people have what kind of credit? Bad credit. Bad credit. Bad credit. You know why? Bad credit. No credit. credit. Uh, they never learn. They never learn the rules. You you give someone something without giving them education behind it. More than likely, they're gonna they're gonna mess it up. I'll offer to you this: when I learned the rules of the game, when it came to money, I had to step away from what I had been shown when I was young, which was that holding that stack by my head. Money allows <laughs> not just money, but taking advantage of opportunities, which is basically what. Malcolm and Kendall have been talking about, right? Open yourself up, making yourself vulnerable, and getting yourself in uncomfortable situations because those are what, what will give you better opportunities in life, right? Money does the same thing.